Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to May tonight. We're almost finished this game. There's not a lot to do. We've basically cleared every single location except I think there's five locations. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now, when you play Dungeon Lords in a a real world competitive setting, you spend a lot more time attacking other people's sites. But when I play solo, I tend to just race to complete the map and then whoever's got the highest score. I do do combat with other play, pay, people when I play solo, uh, but I have to really be thinking about it from the beginning because uh, like, cause the tendency is to spread out and conquer as much as you want. And then in the last couple of turns, the earlier you finish your map, the more you can fight in the last turn. But I'm not going to spend... A whole, there's another whole day after this. I'm not going to spend another whole day just battling it out, trying to maximize points by fighting each other's keeps and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to race to the end. So we're probably going to end this video or next video and then have a final score video. But uh, let's get into this and just try and finish it up. First, we are on the dwarf guy, and he's actually on a dungeon. You blammo. So let's draw to six. And let's see what's in the dungeon. Okay, so it's a pretty nasty monster. He's got six cold fire, and he's got brutal. So we've got a block 12 to stop 12. And he's only nine to attack, so he's not too hard to kill. Let's just work out, we have got a mana draw. So that, is there a white up here? Yes. Is there a red up here? Yes. Okay, so four, five, six, seven. So that's seven, that's seven attack. We've got quite a lot of block here because we've got five, and this is actually five block. So this says create block equal to the unmodified move cost of the space you're in. And we're actually in a forest at night. And forests are five at night. So that's actually five blocks. That's 10 block. Uh, we need another two block. Oh, here we are. Uh, block four. Oh no, that's 11 block. Oh, that's 10 block. 10, 11 block. We haven't actually produced enough attack yet. Oh, we can't use our familiars because we are in a dungeon. In dungeons, you can't use units. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't think we could... You know what else, actually? Uh... We are next to a city. And the thing is, when you're next to a city, you actually have your hand size increased. Now, we all have a shield on here, so there's no leader of the city. But I think it's actually... Rulebook. Where is it? End of turn. I think it's plus one or plus two if you're the leader. If you're on or next to a conquered city, you have at least one shield token in. Your hand limit is increased by one two if you're the leader. So that's pretty much it. So that means he actually has one more card. He's drawing to seven. Oh, that's perfect. And we actually have a druid paths here. So God, look at this. So that's plus two, right? So that's 10, 12. That's two using shapeshifts. So that blocks him. And then there's four, five, six, seven, and this would be 8, 9, 10, which would kill him. But we can't use our familiar. So we have to take wounds, which is pretty annoying. So instead, I'm going to do this. We do not block this. So the block goes through. We take 12 damage because it's 6 brutal. So that is 3, 6, 9, 12. That's four wounds. Then I'm going to attack using mana draw. I don't even need this, do I? 
Oh yes, I do need this. I do need this. So then I use mana draw, I power four, five, six, seven, and I produce four move with the Duratic paths, right? But using shapeshift, that move is now attack. So that is eight, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is enough to kill him. So this guy's dead. Then after the combat, I use one with the lands, I power it with a green crystal, and that's heal two. Bam. Okay. So that is nine. 38 takes us to 47. And we also roll the funky die. And we get an artifact. What have we got? Okay, we're going to take the diamond ring over the banner because the game's pretty much over. And the diamond ring can give us an extra fame. Okie dokie, two. Now this guy's still drawing to nine because he's all the way over here next uh he's actually on his own place here but he's he's next to the keep so he wants to get to this place so he needs four five six seven to get in there which he should be able to do quite easily is there a he does have mana search so he's going to roll two of depleted dice you can do with a green please Nope. Okay, so we go four. It's five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Gets in there. We get a green crystal. And that's that. Boom, your turn. Draw to six he's drawing to now because he is no longer next to his own keep. Now we want to get to here. There's no green in here. Let's see what the box is going to be. It's a banner command that does nothing for us. It does give us plus two. Recruit any one unit from your unit offer for free. We may as well recruit a unit. Oh no, we're... Do any of these guys have move? This guy does. But if we're going to recruit, we're going to recruit a high level unit because it's cashola. Ah, uh, I think I'll just put it back in my hand. So, we do have magic talent. Mana claim. So there's a blue up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just discard. Uh, what am I going to do here? We've got Soul Harvester. That's just three attack. I think I'm going to just discard. Okay, I'm going to use Healing Herbs and heal this wound then i'm going to actually use this to get this thing but i'm then going to use the discard effect okay so we get two fame and recruit any unit for free this then gets discarded from the game And this goes under here. So that's another two, one, uh, one, two. And I'm going to go three because someone in the YouTube comments told me I forgot to give him a, a uh, fame once. So I'll just quickly do that. And I'm going to take a level four. 
I'm going to take this guy. Oh, uh, maybe I'll take this. Who's this? Which one's better? Gain two mana tokens of any color. Yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just take this guy. Why not? Why not? Bam. And that'll be my turn. Now it's your go. You're drawing to six. Now we are also on a dungeon. Uh, talking about dungeons, I should probably mark this guy's dungeon as completed before I forget. So this guy's on a dungeon too, but he's got no attack power. Look at him. He's got this thing to stop all wounds, but he still can only produce a total of what? Four, five, six, six attack, which isn't much. Wings of wind. If only we had this thing. Blah. Is six attack going to be enough to kill him? I don't think so. He is going to fight a dragon. There's no six kill dragons, is there? Yeah, so I think what we're actually going to do is I'm going to discard... Okay, so I've got Wings of Wind, right? Do I want to save that in the off chance uh, that is actually defeated? I remember that's been defeated by Gold X. I don't know why there's nothing on there. Uh, on the off chance we can get to here, we need to produce one... One, two, three, four, five. So if you can produce five movement, we can get over there in one turn if we have Wings of Wind. So, I mean, there's lots of cards here. I think I'm just going to actually discard this one. Now, unfortunately, this says at the end of the turn, you may throw away all wounds received this turn. So I can't use that to heal these. So I'm just going to go discard and that's going to heal. Okay, second turn, Yablamo, drawing up to nine. What are we going to do? First thing we do is we just tap that to gain one fame and a white crystal. That actually levels us up as well. And now if we can do a recruit, that'll help us to the end of the game. So what have we got here? We've got, uh, this is actually worth three fame because when you do an interaction with the Tesla tokens, like the idea is that they're trophies from your kills of the, the monsters. So you can hand them in for fame or influence. So it's three influence. So that's three, four, five, six and we're plus two seven eight which is enough to hire this guy uh can we hire them yeah no we have to be in a well we have to actually move to the okay so <laughs> firstly we have to actually move to the monastery to do it and then it actually needs to be able to be recruited at a monastery, which none of these can except for this guy. So I guess I could move into the city and recruit. Yeah, I suppose I'll just do that. So we'll hold off on this. And I'll just go, this guy gives us influence. I guess I'll just go to movement and move into the city. Back over here, we're now drawing to a normal kind of number of cards, six. And, okay, so what we wanna do here, first we'll roll some dice. Because we've got mana search. Okay. And then we'll go two, Pay with a crystal, that's four. That gets us in here. 
then we take the crystal from our inventory we use mana draw and a white die which we then set this one to green we take another two green crystals and bam that is completed so that is another seven points for our dude one two three four five six seven wow look it comes all the way down here okay what have we got heal and okay i'm just going to take the heal and i'll take swift bolt just getting up for the for the crystal and that is that wow okay now this guy here is this oh we've got a green mana perfect so now we can do that thing i wanted to do last turn but i didn't have the mana for magic talent and what Magic Talent says is that you discard a card of any color and that allows you to play a card of that color from the spell offer. And in the spell offer, we actually have underground travel. So if we pay the green movement, that gives us one, two, three. And we've actually moved on to the, uh, the last of the sites that he can get to. Now... We can produce three, four attack, four, five, six attack. And we can block a five, a six attack, no. So as long as we don't draw a werewolf, basically, we can probably attack straight away and use our mage here. So let me think. Should I do it next turn? I think I'm just going to do it next turn. We're in no rush because he's not going to have anything to do after this turns over. Booyah. Oh, God. Still nothing. Oh, well, let's do another discard. I did not get the healing cards I needed. Okay. Well, that's that. That is pretty much... We're pretty much near the end of the game now. Goldex is going to probably just end the turn next turn. This guy, he's just going to buy a unit and end the turn. This guy's just going to attack. Hopefully this guy will attack. Yeah, so we're, we're getting very close to the end of the game now. And I will see you guys next time.